Look at that. Look how perfect Gwentry Max created our uh, Kim right here with the beautiful hero section image right here. When you click explore recipes, it goes directly to all the articles and this is how it is displayed the about a section. Then we have the frequently asked question right here and we have the latest articles down below. And when you check the contents of the articles, this is how it's gonna look like. Hell guys, so I would like to try this model right here, which is Quentry Max. At the moment, this is the best model that we can find using Quentry. It got released just a week ago and it's big and unusual for Quent to release such a costly model because this one is $6 per million token. So let's see how good it is, why it is priced at $6 per million token. So here, what we will do, access the Quentry Max for free and test it right there. Do that, we will go to chat that quen.ai because here we will be able to access Quentry for free. So as you can see, Quentry Max is available. We will also try later this Quentry Next, which is a cheaper model, but we can do that for free. But first, let's do this Quentry Max to see how good it is and if it's reliable to create your entire application and pay for that $6 per million token. We can have it tested for free using this chat platform. So the usual SOP that we do, we get a copy of this prompt, which is creating an instant WordPress blood theme for us. So you can see it's very simple to use, which I can show you right away. Just copy this entire prompt until here and then open a blank notepad and paste everything right here. So as you can see, I just populated the site title. There was a folder name right here. You can remove that. And here, this is the site title. So we will be using vegan donut as our niche to test this Quentry Max team name, you, you can just have it as Ken Donut team. And that's all the configuration you need. Now, what you can do is copy everything. And here, come back to Quen Chat and make sure Quentry Max is selected and paste it right there. Now, let's run this and wait for a few minutes. And we will directly create all the files to the server. So you don't need to create them in your local. You don't need to set up a WordPress in your local. If you don't want to do that, you can directly put it in your server if this looks good. Now, let's see and run this. All right, so as you can see, after a few minutes, Quentry Max completed our request. So you have the instruction right here and you have all the files that you need. So you can see the front page, that PHP. These are the entire files that we will need to create the theme right here. And I'm going to quickly show you how you will be able to do that directly in the server. So if you're new here, this is what you're gonna do. If you wanna test that, you can go directly to tastewp.com. Imagine this will be your server, or if you have your real server with your domain, you can do that right away in your dashboard. So let's quickly set up our WordPress. So this is going to be the credential, so you can access it directly. Click this. Now that we are here in the dashboard, what you need to do is go to plugin, click add plugin, and type file manager. So we click install this plugin and activate it. So once that's activated, you will see that on the left hand side menu, access that using WP file manager. And here we will start creating the themes inside the WP content, go inside the theme folder. Now here, just right click and you'll see this option, new folder. So we will have it as Quen3 Max. This is just a folder name, so it doesn't matter. So we go inside that folder and here we will individually create the file. So that will be very simple. So I'm going to show you one example. So hit Quen3 says this is going to be the style that CSS. So just copy this. And from here, right click and here, you will see the new file. So that's a CSS, so select this CSS and name it as style.css. So once you newly created a file, you will see this option. So just click on edit file and paste the one that you copied, click save and close. So do that for the rest of the files right here. So just don't get confused. Make sure you copy the correct file for the file name. So this one is going to be the functions.php. So make sure you copy that and here right click and click on. If you don't see the extension, like we are creating the .php, you can always choose this plain text and make sure you rename everything. Functions.php. Again, you will see this option to edit. Paste that right there. Save and close. All right. So the next time you right click and select new file, you will see the PHP file extension right there. So we're going to do that for the rest of the remaining files. So that's it, just total of nine files and we have the separate folder for the JS. So you just follow the structure, whatever Quentry provided here. So as you can see, main.js will be inside the JS folder. So just follow that. Once you completed the files, it's time for us to see whether the team is working. So you're gonna go back to the theorems, then themes. And you can see right here, this is the new team that we created. Let's activate this and let's have a look. Let's open this to a new window. All right, look at this. Looks really nice, actually. This is using Quentry Max about vegan donut. Look how stylish it is. Join our community. Wow, uh, this is pretty impressive. And this is how the frequently asked question is being displayed. You can see right here. There's just a bit of problem in the JavaScript. It's not opening the other uh, frequently asked question, but that's an easy fix. We can just prompt Quentry. By the way, it looks 
It's quite impressive and this will be the latest article. So we want to see how the article looked like. So we will create the sample article. Let me just quickly use article AI generator. So first to use this, you can directly auto post that to your WordPress website, but you have to download this plugin and install that to during newly created WordPress. So let me do that. I'm going to add a plugin. So upload the plugin that you downloaded from article AI generator and click this install now. And let's activate the plugin. No further configuration is required. The next step is since while you have the credentials right here, you just do this one time, add that to article AI generator. So every time you need to add an article to your website, you can simply do that just by selecting the sites from here. So I'm just going to click add sites and here will be your URL. Now add your username and password, which can be found here. All right. Once it's added, go to bulk articles. Now from here, you can put up to 50 articles per batch. So you can simply generate bulk articles if you need. For this example, I'm just going to grab a sample topic from Google here in people also ask question. So let me just grab this three, copy them and paste them right here. Uh, maybe let's just to quickly see how it looks like. I'll just leave everything as is, but I'm going to generate an image to see how it will be placed in the post section. And very important to select auto post and publish. If your site is new, then select your WordPress website which is right here, the newly added one. And let's now generate the articles and see how they look like. But just after a few seconds, because we just generated two articles, we now have our SEO friendly article ready here in the post section. We just need to click hit on refresh. And there you go. Those are the two new articles. So let's take a look. So we have the featured image right there. So this is quite stylish. We just need to fix the gap of the title of the article because it's not completely visible, but that's fine. That can be simply executed here in your quick chat you just mention the things that you want to be fixed but as you can see this is perfectly done look at how nice it displayed the content of the article local bakeries and specialty these are the headings and we have this seo friendly instantly created in our wordpress website with a beautiful team using Quantree max look at that and we have all the latest posts also mentioned down here so let's check the other article all right there you go and let's go to the home page so you will see right here in the latest articles, this is how it's gonna look like. So the way it's styled you can also ask Quantry to fix that if it's not looking great. But overall, we can use this as part of our SOP to create a beautiful website, just like how we did right here. We will also add the hero section image, which we created right here to see how it looks like with the hero section. So I'm just gonna download this and going back to the WP file manager, I'm just gonna create a new folder will be called assets. And here we're gonna drag the hero section inside the assets folder right there. Make sure you're, you rename it as hero desk section. Now let's refresh the website. Look at that. Look how perfect Gwentry Max Perv created our ad team right here with a beautiful hero section image right here. When you click explore recipes, it goes directly to all the articles. And this is how it displayed the about as section. Then we have the frequently asked question right here. And we have the latest articles down below. And when you check the contents of the articles, this is how it's going to look like. Yep. There you go. So that's how you can try Quentry Max for free just by directly going to the Quentry Max chat platform.